Well, good afternoon, um, everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. My name is Yasser Nakvi. I'm the member of parliament for Ottawa Centre, where we are meeting here today. I am so thrilled uh, to uh, be joined by my colleagues, Minister Kamal Kara, who is a Minister of Seniors and Member of Parliament for Brampton West. Our friend and colleague, Stéphane Lazon, who is a Member of Parliament for Argentine La Petite Nation. And of course, Jennifer Lalonde, who you all know quite well, who is the Executive Director of the Ottawa West Community Support. We want to acknowledge that we are gathered here on the unceded and unsurrendered land of the Algonquin Anishinaabeg people, and we're grateful to them for the opportunity for us to live on this beautiful land and call home. Bienvenue, and thank you all for joining us here today at uh, Ottawa West Community Support for hosting us. This is a special year for OWCS. As we know, they are celebrating their 45 years in existence, which is incredible. 45 years of amazing service to our community uh, and to our seniors, making sure that they're comfortable and healthy and vibrant, as many of you experience uh, firsthand. So Jennifer, through you, to all the staff and volunteers, and to all the board members who are here, congratulations, and thank you for the amazing work that you're doing. We in our community here in Ottawa Center are so lucky to have amazing organizations like OWCS. We have got the Good Companions, the Meals on Wheels, all these amazing organizations that work together to ensure that seniors have a, um, have a comfortable life uh, as you enjoy your life and are, continue to contribute to our community. I do also want to thank all the volunteers and staff who work in these organizations and the incredible they are doing every day. Last two years were tough, were rough because of the pandemic, but you know all these services continued. Everybody had to change how they were doing things, but uh, a, a big a round of applause to all our volunteers and, and staff for the amazing work they've been doing. Je suis ravi d'être ici aujourd'hui pour participer à l'annonce de aujourd'hui sur l'initiative Bien Vie Chez Soi. Cette nouvelle initiative fournira un financement crucial aux organismes afin qu'ils puissent aider les personnes âgées à accéder au soutien dont elles ont besoin pour rester dans leur propre maison et dans leur communauté à mesure qu'elles vieillissent. To talk more about uh, this important announcement that uh, we are making on behalf of the federal government, I am so thrilled, as I mentioned earlier, to have uh, our Minister of Seniors, uh, Kamal Kara. Um, um, Kamal, if I may call you by your first name, uh, is an incredible, hardworking individual, but this is the most amazing thing. She's a registered nurse by, by profession. And when the pandemic hit, beside being a member of parliament, serving her community, she rolled up her sleeves again and helped out during the, the pandemic as a nurse because she felt that we needed more healthcare workers to provide the care and the support that members of our community need during the pandemic. So thank you very much. I don't know how you found the time to do all that, uh, but you are just a, a shining example of incredible work that healthcare workers and community social uh, workers do in our society. So please welcome Minister of Seniors Kamal Kara. Should I say good afternoon? Yeah, it is afternoon, yes. We came here um, during morning, so. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, sir, thank you for that kind introduction. Um, and of course, let me just say, uh, and, you know, not just your, for your kind introduction, for your advocacy and for being a true champion of this beautiful community, uh, it showcases, you know, we're, in, we're always here in Ottawa and anyone I've spoken to, uh, speaks highly of the work that you do and I've seen him talk about this beautiful community, talk about this beautiful community center, talk about the beautiful seniors in this community and the work that we need to do. So thank you for all the work that you do for this beautiful community. Uh, thank you. Thank you to everyone uh, for joining us at Ottawa West Community Support for hosting us also uh, for this very special event. I feel extremely honored and privileged to be with you uh, 
to be with here today, but alongside, of course, my colleagues, Member of Parliament, and of course, Parliamentary Secretary, as I mentioned, Yasser Nakvi, and of course, Parliamentary Secretary Stefan Lazan. I would also like to acknowledge and thank my Parliamentary Secretary, Darren Fisher, who is joining us virtually, um, as well as we have been, uh, you know, have this also virtually being broadcasted to all the members of, of, of uh, community across Canada. Uh, Jennifer? Uh, it was a pleasure touring your beautiful facility, learning about the many programs from home maintenance to wheels to meals to transportation services to help older adults get their medical appointments to pick up groceries. Uh, I got to see some of this work and to the board members that are here, to the volunteers that are here, to the seniors that are here today. Thank you. Thank you for showcasing what a community really is. Uh, and a special shout out to Fanny for her birthday. A very happy, happy birthday to you as well. We're so fortunate to have amazing and wonderful organization like yours across the country, which makes sure that seniors can remain fully active citizens in their community. And we're proud to work with all of you. Uh, you know, we know just how challenging this pandemic has been for all Canadians, but particularly seniors. But we've seen community organizations, volunteers step up. Uh, and we've seen that right here in this community. So to all uh, the, the stakeholders, community, uh, you know, uh, community partners and, and everyone involved, I just want to say a huge, huge shout out because I know how difficult it has been uh, working with the limited resources that you guys had and really figuring out a way uh, to use the best of your resources to shift priorities to be able to do that work. So thank you once again for all that you do. For some seniors, as you know, leaving their home is a conscious choice and living in a private residence or a long-term care facility suits their needs. While for others, leaving their home is not an option. Many seniors want to stay at home for as long as possible. It's about being independent, it's about being active, about being comfortable, it's about healthy aging. But sometimes that becomes difficult as they age. Many vulnerable seniors are left with no choice but to leave their home and transition into supportive care before they would otherwise need to if they had better supports available to them at home. No one should have to leave their home before they're ready to do so, especially if all they need in order to stay home is a little bit of extra help. This is something that we've heard from stakeholders across Canada and indeed seniors themselves from coast to coast to coast. And that's why I am so excited to be here and proud to announce that we will be providing as much of that extra help as possible through our new Age While at Home initiative. This initiative is a result of our work with community-based organizations and other partners. Through this initiative, organizations will receive funding to provide practical support to help low-income and otherwise vulnerable seniors stay in their own homes. Not only will people get the help that they need, they will connect with members of their community, which will contribute to prevention of social isolation and creation of intergenerational connections. In terms of funding, Budget 2021 provided $90 million in funding for this new initiative. So the big question is, when will this important initiative begin? Well, that's why we're all here today. As of today, we are officially kicking off the Age Well at Home initiative, and it is with great excitement that I announced the launch of the calls for proposal for this program. As of right now, eligible organizations can apply for funding under two different streams. One is the in-home support pilot projects, and the other is scaling up for seniors. The in-home support pilot project stream funds organizations that provide eligible volunteer-based services to seniors. Eligible services include things like meal delivery or preparation, light yard work, snow removal, or a friendly visit to a senior. Organizations can receive up to $800,000 in funding through this calls for proposal. And under the scaling up for senior stream, organizations can receive, receive funding to help them expand services that have already demonstrated positive result from, for seniors from coast to coast to coast. Through this call for proposal, organizations can receive up to $2 million in funding. So I invite all the organizations that are watching us here today to give a closer look, and most importantly, I want them to, and encourage you all to apply for this funding. Project proposals for both the streams can be submitted 
uh, until July 22nd of this year. And all information about these two calls can be found on our ESDC funding webpage. All Canadian seniors deserve to live with dignity, safety, and comfort regardless of where and how they live. And that's why, as you may know, this year's budget went even further to give them some peace of mind. In budget 2022, we doubled the home accessibility tax credit to up to $3,000 to offset the cost of renovations or upgrades for things like wheelchair ramps, walk-in bathtubs, or for wheel-in showers. We also introduced the multi-generational home renovation credit. This will provide up to $7,500 in support from constructing a secondary unit for a senior or an adult with disability. It's an important way for those seniors and families who have different generational, uh, generations living together to care for each other. Supporting seniors has been and will continue to be a key priority for our government. We'll continue to take action so that after a lifetime of hard work, older adults can live healthy, safe, and dependent lives in their own homes for as long as possible. Again, thank you to the Ottawa West Community Center uh, Community Support for welcome, welcoming us today and for giving us the opportunity to celebrate the official launch for the Age Well at Home initiative. And of course, I wish you all the best and I encourage you to also apply for this funding considering the work that I see that you guys do. Thank you again. Merci. Miigwech. Well, thank you very much, Minister, for that incredible uh, announcement. I can tell you, um, somebody who's uh, a, a children of two seniors, uh, my dad is 86 years old, and both my parents live at home. And anytime we have a conversation about they may be downsizing or moving away, they show us the door. I don't, <laughs> I don't get dinner. Um, but, you know, I often see them, and they live away, far away from, from me, so I'm not there to help them out uh, all the time. But I see them, they just need that little help, right? the snow cleaning, the grass cutting, the help to the grocery store, or those type of type of things. And this is exactly that kind of support many seniors want so they can continue to live with exactly. dignity uh, in their own home. So, so thank you very much to you and, and uh, to our government uh, for this very important initiative. Now I'm really uh, excited to uh, welcome uh, uh, our very good friend, Stéphane Lozon, who's, uh, as I introduced earlier, is a member of parliament for Argentine La Petite Nation. Um, Stefan is here for a reason, and I'm sure he's going to tell you a little bit about it. He's been championing this kind of initiative for a very long time, and this is a testament of having a member of parliament who think, gets a good idea and then pursues it within government, within parliament, until it happens. And uh, a big reason why we're here today is because of Stefan Lazon's advocacy. So Stefan, to you. Thanks, uh, Yasser, for this uh, wonderful introduction, and thanks to receive, to receive us in your in your writing. It's a great place to be here today. Thanks, Minister, for this great announcement. It's wonderful to hear that from you. It's uh, unbelievable what we delivered today. Uh, merci, Madame la Ministre, d'avoir uh, annoncé l'excellente nouvelle avec l'initiative. Uh, ben, c'est vieillir en dignité à la maison. Uh, je vais faire la portion en français pour uh, tous ceux qui sont en ligne, qui nous écoutent, et pour ceux qui sont ici présents. Euh, pour ceux qui ne me connaissent pas, je, je, je suis Stéphane Nozon, je suis le secrétaire parlementaire du développement économique rural et euh, j'ai eu l'occasion d'être le secrétaire parlementaire pour les aînés euh, pendant un certain temps. Euh, merci tout le monde euh, de Ottawa West Community Report de nous accueillir à l'occasion de cet événement euh, très spécial. Quel bel accueil! Nous avons été accueillis avec euh, un panel de personnes qui nous ont accueillis à l'entrée. Euh, une aide d'honneur pour la ministre. Elle ne pouvait pas demander mieux pour euh, l'accueil qu'on a eu ici aujourd'hui. Pour certains aînés, c'est euh, quitter leur maison est un choix volontaire. Et habiter dans une résidence privée ou dans un CHSLD répond à leurs besoins, puis on va toujours respecter ça. Mais pour d'autres, quitter leur maison est tout simplement inconcevable. Nombreux sont ceux qui veulent rester chez eux plus longtemps. Euh, merci, Madame la ministre, d'y croire. Et euh, c'est une question de garder son indépendance, garder, ils veulent demeurer actifs et heureux, mais dans leur résidence. C'est une question de vieillir en santé. Mais parfois, ça devient difficile, et c'est pourquoi qu il y a bien des aînés vulnérables ont d'autres choix que de quitter leur foyer 
malgré leur choix. Et personne ne devrait quitter sa maison avant d'y être prêt. Et c'est pour ça qu'on on, on a fait euh, cette, euh, cette subvention. Particulièrement parce qu'il est nécessaire pour demeurer chez eux. Puis c'est avec un petit coup de main supplémentaire qu'on vient en aide du fait que les aînés peuvent rester plus longtemps à la maison. Nous le comprenons. Et je suis fier d'annoncer que nous donnerons autant d'aide que possible grâce à notre nouvelle initiative « Vieillir dans la dignité à la maison », un investissement, comme l'a annoncé la ministre, de 90 millions sur trois ans. Et dans cette initiative, les organismes recevront du financement afin d'offrir un soutien pratique afin d'aider les aînés euh, ayant un faible revenu ou euh, autrement vulnérable à demeurer dans leur maison, et nous y arriverons grâce aux bénévolat. Il a sûr donné quelques exemples tantôt, euh, comment on pourrait venir, la ministre aussi, comment on peut venir en aide aux aînés avec ces programmes-là. Mais c'est sûr que les organismes qui sont là sont nos yeux et nos oreilles, c'est eux qui connaissent leurs besoins. Uh, we can have better than this organization to know your need. And that's why we need those partners to be part with us. Et, et, et moi, j'ai eu l'occasion de, de, de traverser le Canada pour consulter les aînés. On a vu comment c'était difficile la pandémie. Vous êtes très peu demandants, les aînés. Ce que vous nous demandez, c'est un petit coup de pouce pour rester à la maison et d'en faire un peu plus. Puis ce programme-là, il est à point. Il est à point pour aider les aînés. Donc, dans le cadre de, de cette initiative, aujourd'hui, je suis euh, très heureux d'annoncer euh, que la ministre des aînés, tout premier appel de proposition pour l'initiative de vieillir dans la dignité à la maison, c'est à partir d'aujourd'hui, les organismes admissibles peuvent faire leur demande dans l'un des deux volets suivants. Et la ministre a invité l'organisme à faire leur demande déjà pour commencer. Donc, euh, euh, ces deux projets, c'est un projet euh, pilote de soutien à domicile qu'on a lancé. Euh, je pense que cette aide-là est assez générale, c'est assez large comme demande, donc on est prêt à savoir toutes sortes de demandes. Et la mise aux normes aussi des services pour les aînés, parce qu'il y a déjà des belles choses qui existent sur, sur le marché. Là. On a déjà des bonnes actions qui sont prises par les organismes, donc on veut simplement euh, supporter et améliorer ces, ces bonnes actions-là que vous faites déjà. Donc, j'invite les organismes admissibles là, à regarder, à s'informer à l'initiative auprès de se faire une demande de financement. Ils peuvent soumettre leur proposition de projet dans les deux volets jusqu'au 22 juillet 2022. Et toute l'information à propos des deux appels ça, se trouve sur la page Web du financement du ministère euh, ESDC, euh, EDSC en français. Maintenant, euh, j'aimerais simplement, en conclusion, Soutenir euh, les aînés à une des plus grandes priorités de notre gouvernement continuera de l'être. Euh, cette initiative-là, euh, je la tiens à cœur. Comme la ministre a mentionné, je suis, je suis sur ce dossier depuis longtemps. Aujourd'hui, ce que la ministre nous livre, c'est formidable. Je pense qu'on va tous en bénéficier. Une fois encore, j'aimerais remercier la ministre de me donner cette opportunité-là to be here today. It's great for me to be here, make the announcement with you. And yes, sir, my, my great colleague is uh, always fight for for seniors and uh, for his community. Uh, je voudrais remercier Ottawa West Community Support de nous avoir accueillis ici aujourd'hui, le conseil d'administration, la direction, les employés aussi qui ont rendu ça possible. Merci d'être là. Et uh, la ministre, pour me donner l'opportunité d'annoncer ça aujourd'hui, je vais toujours être reconnaissant. Thanks a lot. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. Gets this. There we go. Merci beaucoup, Stéphane, pour votre travail. Merci. Um, how was the cake? Was it good? I was going to ask you because I'm about to invite the boss lady, and I'm not talking about the minister right now. I'm going to invite Jennifer Lalonde to come forward, who's the executive director. So if the cake is shaky, you tell me and we'll talk to her. Um, yeah, fix it up. Um, you, you know Jennifer well. She's here every day working hard on your behalf as the executive director of the Ottawa West Community Support. Jennifer, please come forward. Well, thank you very much, everyone. This is this is really wonderful and exciting for us. Um, you know, every day at Ottawa West is a special day, but today is even more so. I was so happy to be able to welcome you, uh, Minister Kara, uh, for coming today. Um, I thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and meet with us and see what we have to offer. I know I speak on behalf of the board members that are here and the entire team when I say how honored we are to have had this wonderful opportunity to showcase the work that we do and to introduce you to some of the clients that we have here today. Home, 
It's such a central part of all of our lives. The work that we do here and that I know you are undertaking in your role is essential to ensuring seniors in Ottawa have the ability to remain living independently in their own homes. Sometimes all that is needed is just a little bit of support, which you've all said, um, that without it, it remains very difficult for people to be able to stay home. We know that this is of great concern to your department, as it is to us, and we, like many of our partner organizations, welcome this call for proposals and the funding behind it. The ability to offer quality in-home care and services is central to our health and social systems. And it, of course, is the mandate at the core of what we do here at Ottawa West. Before I turn over the mic, I really would be remiss if I didn't take a moment just to thank the members of the staff who have worked effortlessly to make this happen today. I feel so very honored to be able to work with them. They're a caring and dedicated group of professionals and their work really does make all the difference in our community. So thank you very much. And thank you for you guys for letting us come and uh, take over your program today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like, Fanny will remember her 39th birthday for a long, long time now, <laughs> right Fanny? Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Jennifer. And, and we're proud of you and the entire staff and all the volunteers for the amazing work that you're doing in our community. It really, it means a lot uh, to all of us. Now, to all of you, this is, this is the part of the event I call the pop quiz part, where the media gets to ask us questions. And I believe there may be media online as well via Zoom. So we don't know what they're going to ask. It's like going back to school all over again. So I pass it on to you. <laughs> Hi, thank you. So there are no media on the floor, so I will pass it directly to those who are on Zoom. So um, nous passons tout de suite à Zoom. Alors un rappel de, s'il vous plaît, utilisez le, la fonction Levez la main ou étoile neuf par téléphone. Uh, reminder to please use the raise hand function via Zoom or star nine if you're on the phone. With that, I'll pass it on to Mila Roy, who's on Zoom. Hello everyone, bonjour tout le monde. Merci d'être avec nous aujourd'hui. Donc, euh, je serai la modératrice pour la période de questions. I'll be moderating today's media's availability. So, media, if you have questions, please raise your hand. I will um, pass you the microphone if you have questions. Now it's the time. I believe the pop quiz will be easy today. <laughs> no question on Zoom. <laughs> So back to you, Natalie. Over to you. Well, if that was real life, I would have gotten straight A's all through school. <laughs> but a hey, it's a, it's a good announcement. Everybody's just flabbergasted. No questions to ask. Was clear. Yes. <laughs> well, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for letting us come to your other home here, to, to many of our, our seniors. And it was great to see you all. And I hope all of you have a great rest of the day. Thank you and merci beaucoup.